mean this is... <laughs> that is bad. I'm terrible at drawing, like, like, like really bad. I can't, I can't draw girls, it's the head. Okay. Uh, I don't even know how to draw arms, to be honest with you. Okay, I got the bow, okay. Fingers, 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 yeah, wrist. Connected to her head. Oh, yes. Yeah, expression. Uh, it looks a bit angry. Oh my goodness, this is really difficult. Um, I'm drawing, I'm now going to be drawing the arrow. <laughs> but this is really something else. I'm not confident. Um, oh, I don't think I'm going to improve this. All right, I think I'm done. There you go. Do you think that's okay? I actually really tried. That's actually really good for me. Charlie. Um, oh, I don't know how to draw a hat. So cute. <laughs> okay. Ears are a bit elfish. That's all right. No. I really, this is really difficult. Like I, like I ask me questions all day long, but oh, it's come to, I, I'm really, I don't know how to. It's all about texture and shading. <laughs> I mean, this is. <laughs> that, that is bad. <laughs> I'm under pressure. This is really difficult. Okay, next. Okay, head. Let's get that quiff. Okay, we can't forget that like little strand of hair that just comes down. I met him coming out of the toilet. Um, he's great, he's really, really cool. But uh, no, I don't have any scenes with him, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, I haven't, gone for, haven't got much of the chiseled cheekbones in this. The mouth is always very stoic looking. The nose. <laughs> oh God, I forgot to give him a nose. His eyes are a little wonky, but that is not that is not because Henry's eyes. Henry does not. Okay. No, that's stupid. Hold on, I'm doing a pipe coming out of his mouth just because why not, right? Eyebrows. See, I'm really going for it now. Oh, he looks like the Gruffalo or something. You're welcome, everyone. That body right there, I, that was, that, I, I tried and like it just didn't, the arms came out too big because I needed muscle. I don't even know where to start on this one. Oh, no. oh, this is really tough. This is not my game at all. Um, oh, this looks like a dinosaur. I can't. Okay, this is shaping up to be not terrible, he says. I'm gonna do the, the spots and maybe the collar. Oh, this is sick. I just did the, me oh, um, oh no, this is brilliant. Okay, uh, collar, I'm gonna spend a little bit more time on this because this is, this is freaking mine. Okay, then that's my best, <laughs> that's my best go on that. I really can't, that is me trying, like I said, like I can't. It's done. Wait, right, smile, smile, smile. Cheeky chappy, look at that. Please your eyes. If you're going for sort of like modern abstract art, this would rank pretty highly. If you're going for good art, uh, not so well, I'd say. Somewhere in between a seven and an eight. <laughs> Actually, that's the problem. It wasn't chaotic enough. I was relatively nervous just because, as you can see, draw, drawing and tennis, they're not my strong suit at all. Um, but Helena is relatively good at doing that and I'm not as good at doing that. So they were saying like, right, really hit the ball as hard as you can. And I was really trying, but but it wasn't going flying everywhere. So that was the problem. Um, 
and I couldn't we couldn't do like a a rally in any way shape or form it was usually her and then me really trying and failing miserably but it came out really well in editing <laughs> You know, I always said that like the society back in the 1800s was so restricted. So when I wore my corset, I felt very restricted. <laughs> and so I felt like, you know, it does definitely um, give you some like formation. So when she is the, the lady, um, she definitely has a different kind of persona because she's definitely more, she's not a wildling. She's more, um, she's adapted to the society. So the corset definitely um, kind of, restricted her from being her crazy self. So I just saw the light um, within the corset and I, I just forgot about the fact that I couldn't breathe. We had obviously an amazing team behind it, but basically it was just a see-through, almost like a see-through sink. And I was on a elevated platform and I looked, the, the sink was below me and the camera and everyone else was below the sink so they could see up at me. Um, it was almost like a fish tank. I felt like I was in the, an aquarium, um, but instead it was a human and she was winking at camera. Um, and it was just a man underneath like, good job. And then the people with the slate. So they were all very lovely, dry, and you know, just kind of sat there. And there was I uh, soaking wet. Um, and Harry was like, is there any way you could exaggerate the wink? I'm like, okay, because it's very hard to wink underwater, by the way. You're in there, you're trying to open your eyes, then you have to gasp and pretend you're drowning, then you have to play dead, then you have to smile and then wink at camera and then come up. So it was very difficult. But on the first take, I remember I, everyone like screamed. They were all freaking out that I could actually wink underwater. So apparently it's quite difficult. So. I'm just gonna pretend that there's a percentage of people that can't do that and I'm that percentage that, that can. Credit due to the editors there. Um, no, I didn't do any of the actual, oh, I feel like a bad magician. I shouldn't tell you this. I should have just gone, yeah, we did it. Yeah, one take. No, um, <laughs> I'd like to be a Tom Cruise and say I did my own stunts, but I had a great stunt man called James. Uh, so he did all of the, the actual falling out of the bag and the rolling down the hill. He had quite a tough time, the poor guy. Uh, but I sort of, I just did the, the bits either side. Um, but yeah, it was sort of green screen, jumping off a train about this high, and then cut to me rolling down about one roll and then stopping. So that's that's my bit there. I made the connection. Tewksbury has the craziest entrances. I mean, I don't know who came up with that, but I don't know why they did, because it's boiling in there. I mean, I was, Boiling. I had my own little fan in that suitcase. I had a little fan tucked next to me. That I had, uh, it was, yeah, it was really, really hot. And the one in the, the box was filmed on the hottest day of the year. So I was sweltering. I don't think I have claustrophobia, but I do not like it. Like, if I can avoid it in the, I will. <laughs> 11, of course. I mean, I'm sure Superman is somewhat cool, but 11 will always, overall. <laughs> or maybe they'll just team up, maybe they'll team up. Good question, I think 11 will take the win to that. I mean, have you seen the stuff she can do? Well, I haven't, I haven't seen the fit of the thingy, but is this, it's all, I think, I think Sherlock's good, but I don't think he's that good. I'm saying 11's gonna take the win for this one. No, I didn't. That's a, that should that would have been really good prep for me though. No, I didn't do that. Um, I what I did do in prep though was I kept um, filming myself and looking at camera. Um, I wanted to really get used to breaking the fourth wall. So every line I had, I would just film myself looking at camera. Um, so I, I did. That was the only prep and, and plus like stunts and stuff. But no, no murder mystery games. I should have done that. Well, my. <laughs> My mum actually bought something called Sherlock Holmes. I think it's called like 20 so Baker Street. Um, it's a board game where you're racing against your family to solve a murder. And I'm so bad at it. I'm terrible at this game. It's same with Cluedo. I don't know if you play Cluedo. I can't, I can't play it. I, I just don't know what it is. So no, I think I was very aptly um, given the, the role of Tewksbury, um, who doesn't do any detective solving, uh, which I think yeah, I, th I think that, fe that, that felt, felt good. I felt like I could empathise with him a bit there. <laughs>